from mean marine reptiles to modern day monsters that are still around, here are 10 sea creatures scarier than the mighty and terrifying Megalodon. Chronosaurus the Chronosaurus was one of the meanest marine reptiles to ever roam the seas. This was one of the deadliest apex predators during the early Cretaceous period, totally ravaging other sea creatures in its endless search for food. The Chronosaurus was actually named after the Greek titan Kronos, father of Zeus. The Chronosaurus was first discovered from a single jawbone and some teeth in northeastern Australia in 1899, nowhere near Greece or its old legends. Chronosaurus fossils were also discovered in Colombia, a country well known for its heaps of prehistoric snakes, turtles, and crocodiles. You can visit an actual Chronosaurus skeleton at the Harvard Museum of Natural History in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The skeleton measures 40 feet from the tip of its tail to the tip of its nose. However, the skeleton is a bit misleading. Whoever put it together added way too many vertebrae, making the Chronosaurus look much larger than it actually was. The real Chronosaurus was only about 33 feet long, 10 meters. I say only pretty loosely. But that is still incredibly big and monstrous. An average shark is only around 10 feet, 3 meters long. The Chronosaurus definitely could have given the Megalodon a fight for its money. This thing lived all over the world. It feasted wherever it wanted, and there have been other sea monsters found with the bite marks of a Chronosaurus on their skull, specifically a plesiosaur found in Australia. The Chronosaurus was a gigantic cross between a shark and a crocodile, and you would have been a tasty snack for this prehistoric predator. Helveticosaurus The Helveticosaurus was another savage lizard from 200 million years ago, and it's the stuff of nightmares. It was first discovered in Switzerland in 1933. It dates back to the Triassic period, and it is a reptile with a small head and extremely long arms. It looks like a strange mixture between lizard and seal. In fact, this monster looked like something from a gruesome horror film. Even though it would have never actually met the Megalodon face to face, the two could have been bitter enemies. This beast is about 6 0.5 feet, 2 meters long, from snout to tail, making it not overly large but still big enough to put up a decent fight. In any case, this was not a reptile you would want to meet in person. With its short, square head and sharp teeth, the Helveticosaurus was a force to be feared. It would have looked kind of like a Komodo dragon, only meaner and more agile underwater. Imagine a seal with long arms and the head of a dinosaur. Tyrannoneustis Tyrannoneustis is not the same as the Tyrannosaurus rex. In some ways, it's scarier. It was first discovered over a hundred years ago sitting in the Oxford Clay Formation, a soil sediment in England that dates back to the Jurassic period. The fossil was actually locked away in storage in the Hunterian Museum in Glasgow, and it sat there for over a century collecting dust until it was re-examined in early 2013. The new studies revealed that the Tyrannoneustis was actually one of the oldest species of marine crocodile. After they put the skeleton together, they ended up naming it the Tyrannoneustis lithrodecticos, which translates to tyrant swimmer. This beast has also been nicknamed the T-Rex of the sea. As you can imagine, this was one scary carnivore floating throughout the ocean. It actually looked like a crocodile and dolphin hybrid, like an enormous dolphin with a mouth full of crocodile teeth. Unfortunately, there is not too much that is really known about these monsters or how they operated in the ocean. The best description is part crocodile, part dolphin, and part shark. It had four limbs with webbed toes just like a modern croc, but on its tail was a fin that looked like that of a modern day shark. Many researchers believe the Tyrannoneustis was actually the first super predator able to hunt and kill prey much larger than itself. This is extremely impressive considering the Tyrannoneustis was typically around 30 feet 9 meters long. I wouldn't feel safe going for a dip in the ocean with these evil looking monsters around, would you? Let me know which beast is your favorite and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Tanistrophius the Tanistrophius was a terrifying sea monster with an extraordinarily long neck. It was about three times the length of a human with most of its body made up of its giant neck. Think about an underwater giraffe. In fact, the neck of this Triassic reptile is so ludicrously long that it has confused paleontologists for nearly 170 years. But recently, researchers used CAT scans to fully understand the remains of this reptile and answer some of their questions. A typical Tanistrophius was about 16 feet in length, with its 
tail making up about one third of its body, the body itself making up about one fourth, and its neck taking up the rest. According to a paleontologist from Chicago's Field Museum, the Tanistrophius looked like a stubby crocodile with an incredibly long neck. Researchers don't understand why the reptile evolved with such strange dimensions, making it part lizard and part snake, but there is no mistaking how terrifying this thing would be to encounter in the ocean. With a neck roughly 10 feet, 3 meters in length, it could probably strike at you from a healthy distance. You might try to run, but it would be awfully hard to get away from this villain. It probably could not fight a megalodon head to head, but it's definitely just as scary as one. Leoplorodon the Leoplorodon is one of the most famous extinct marine reptiles thanks to its appearance on the show Walking with Dinosaurs. If you haven't heard of this incredibly scary extinct reptile, let me give you some impressive facts. First, this reptile comes from the Mesozoic era. Its name translates into English meaning smooth-sided teeth. This is a little misleading since the Leoplorodon was one of the most voracious predators of its time, competing with such beasts as the Chronosaurus. While the Leoplorodon was first depicted as being over 80 feet 25 meters long back on BBC in the 1990s, it's actually closer to about 30 feet 9 meters. But that does not make it any less of a monster. It was the apex predator of late Jurassic Europe. Up. This is because Europe 150 million years ago was covered by a shallow body of water, and that is where this giant beast lived, gobbling fish, squids, and smaller reptiles just like a hungry hippopotamus or a crocodile. Only this one was much, much larger. Blue Whale a lot of people underestimate the blue whale, which is the largest animal to ever exist on planet Earth. Sure, the megalodon was one scary monster, but the blue whale is a terrifying beast, and it's still alive. It doesn't look inherently scary. It looks pretty calm, actually, floating around in the water with its giant mouth and huge eyes. It doesn't have fangs. It's got no scales, but it can swallow a boat by simply opening its mouth. If you ask me, that is pretty scary. The blue whale is the largest animal currently in existence, and so far as scientists have discovered, nothing has ever beaten it in sheer size. We like to marvel at the dinosaurs, but the blue whale is actually bigger than any dinosaur that ever existed. Yes, the megalodon reached about 58 feet, 18 meters in length, but the blue whale typically measures about 100 feet, 30 meters in length. That's right, over double the size of a megalodon. The blue whale is also over three times larger than most of the prehistoric reptiles we are talking about on this list. To put its size into perspective, a blue whale's tongue weighs about as much as a fully grown African elephant. Its heart is the size of a car, its eye is the size of a basketball, and a small child could literally swim through its arteries like a white blood cell swims through your bloodstream. If that is not intimidating, you haven't really thought about meeting a blue whale. What do you think? Would you be scared of a giant blue whale if you encountered one? They can ram ships and have even sunk wooden boats in centuries past. Let me know if you think you'd be up for it in the comments section below. The Kraken the Kraken has been a legendary sea creature basically since the beginning of time. For as long as men have built boats and sailed the ocean, they have been terrified of the great and cruel Kraken. It has long been a legend to scare fishermen and inspire terror in anyone brave enough to venture across the sea. However, there is no actual Kraken hiding beneath the waves. There is, however, a giant squid. And you bet the giant squid is far more terrifying than a mere 58-foot shark. There is nothing scarier than 10 wet arms reaching out of the darkness to ensnare you. Being drawn into the insect-like face of the giant squid, then being consumed by its horrifying beak. That's right, giant squids have beaks, kind of like birds, only much bigger. They can grow to be about 45 feet long, and have eyes even bigger than those of a blue whale. Why? Scientists believe that they have evolved to spot whales coming from a huge distance away, according to the BBC. The giant squid attacks horizontally, then wraps its tentacles around its prey much in the same way that a python will coil around the body of its victim. Basically, you would be suffocated by a 45-foot-long kraken with 10 arms and hundreds of gross suckers. I think I'd rather be eaten by a shark or swallowed by a whale. For me, this is the scariest animal to encounter in the wild, but what do you think? Plesiosaurus the Plesiosaurus was another terrifying reptile from the Jurassic period, existing around the same time as the deadly Chronosaurus. The Plesiosaurus looked a little like an overgrown sea turtle, with the neck of a Brontosaurus and the head teeth of a T-Rex. 
This was one of the scariest beasts of its time, and was located all over the globe. The first fossil was discovered in 1821, but since then, there have been many discoveries. And even though this marine turtle serpent was only around 11 feet meters long, it was still pretty intimidating. A lot of people actually associate the plesiosaurus with the Loch Ness Monster, claiming that the two must be related, but this is simply not true in any sense. The plesiosaurus lived 228 million years ago and went extinct no less than 61 million years ago. It was also a voracious carnivore, and it's highly doubtful that any massive carnivore like that could survive in small Loch Ness. What would it eat? It would simply go hungry. Mosasaurus the Mosasaurus was made famous in the most recent Jurassic Park film, and as far as all the sea creatures in the animal kingdom go, the Mosasaurus is actually the only one that really rivals the Megalodon in terms of size and aggression. This was a seriously mean monster like a cross between a crocodile and a shark. It had double hinged jaws so that it could feed on other marine reptiles and even great white sharks. A Mosasaurus was 55 feet 17 meters in length and weighed about 28 tons. It could have swallowed a great white shark like you or I could swallow a jelly bean. If one of these reptiles got into a fight with a prehistoric megalodon, the winner would be anyone's guess. Scientists believe that mosasaurs could not haul themselves onto land to lay their eggs like giant sea turtles, and so they kept their eggs inside them until they hatched, at which point they gave birth to a whole brood of young mosasaurs able to swim immediately. Now that's scary, but the next animal might be even scarier. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome content and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, what do you think? Which is the scariest creature discussed today in your opinion? Who would win in a giant brawl between all of these marine megafauna? Let me know in the comments below. Helicoprion The Helicoprion was one of the most disturbing animals ever to live. Everyone probably remembers the horrifying ghost shark, or the even more disturbing goblin shark. Well, the Helicoprion was an even freakier type of fish from 270 million years ago. Its jaw was the thing of nightmares, looking more like a saw blade than an actual mouth. Its fossil was first found in Kazakhstan, and because the fossil looked like a spiral, the fish was immediately named Helicoprion, which means spiral saw. Its lower jaw consisted of a tooth whorl. As the shark grew older, smaller teeth were moved deeper into the center of the whorl, while larger teeth grew on the outside. This created a saw blade effect inside of the shark's mouth. And if its weird teeth weren't frightening enough, this shark grew to be around 35 to 40 feet long, making it one of the biggest sea monsters of its day. One bite from this evil creature would turn anyone into mincemeat. Terrifying. Which of these shocking sea monsters do you think could destroy the Megalodon in a fight? Tell me in the comments below, and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another fun video.